Okay, my fellow Terra Pros. Uh, it works great. <laughs> Look how wacky that looks. Let me try and get less trees in the. It's almost disappearing in the trees in the, in the camera angle. So I found this on uh, eBay, and I think I might buy another one. <laughs> now it looks ridiculous. I'm almost embarrassed to drive it, but holy smokes! Like I took this to the my fishing spot and I put my three poles up there my lawn chair my tackle box I had a bunch of beer I had my hats and other stuff up there and it did great and of course I, I have a kayak and I will be taking it to uh, the other side of the ranch but uh, I didn't bring it today but man I can't, I can't rant and rave enough about this oh here's how this mounts i keep getting sidetracked so it's just two u-bolts in the front and then that rail is a t-post or whatever and then it, this whole thing is adjustable in its height uh right here and of course that just slides in and that's all that's all one piece right here and then these extenders they can come in and out for the different size kayaks with just a lock pin now Oh, and then this is a two-piece cage. It's mounted right here with some bolts, and it comes across, and of course it sits on this center rail. And th this center rail right here and all the T's are a different kit. Or, I'm sorry, are the main kit. The basket was an add-on to this. And this is from the Gear Gator. And I think that they're not even in business anymore. The website goes to nothing. There's only one guy on eBay who's selling these, and I think he's got one more in stock, so I'm probably going to buy it here at the end of this video so none of you guys get it, just to put on just to put on maybe a different four-wheeler, or, or maybe one of the four-wheelers at my house for just moving stuff around. I, I'm sorry, I was distracted. I wanted to show you guys this thing, how I'm in love with this basket. Now, of course... To get up to it you're gonna have to put your boot on the tire and you come up here and you grab this thing and you just now it says it actually holds like oh no now i'm forgetting it was something ridiculous either three or four hundred pounds worth of weight now i'm not gonna do that <laughs> that's pretty sketch but it is a solid it's well built I think it's it's powder coated, but some of the powder coating came off. You see where I had to kind of hit it up with some paint. Now, technically, you could put an old Jeep seat up there. And once you park and you find your spot, I guess you could climb up there and you could go hunting. Or you could fish from altitude or whatever you wanted to do. Because this one, you're not going to go fast. You're not going to go... You know tearing up anything because you're this one's got the storage yeah and this stuff sloshes around your i got a pretty rough train out here so when i go up and down the hills yeah the the basket the the chair will move over there the everything will rattle and bang around but it is what it is now you're wondering well why don't you just pull a trailer well yeah eventually i will get a trailer down here i've got a perfect one i took an old toyota pickup bed uh and or frame Took off the cab because it was smashed. Bent the frame rails in. I made a great little uh, trailer for it. And uh, that one eventually will come down here. But all the trails out here, they're too skinny for a truck to go through uh, without scratching paint. So, and it's too too skinny for that trailer. So right now, this is the only thing that can sneak through. And it's mesquite. I don't know if you guys know what the heck mesquite is. But mesquite is a horrible, thorny tree with just it's like a rose bush for, for a tree and every time you pass one of the branches it just scratches you or they'll bend and they'll slap you in the face it's awful okay that's the review that's the re extensively long ridiculous review two thumbs up nothing bad to say i'm gonna probably buy another one <laughs> here's another shot and just moving your fishing poles around i mean i mean i guess you could put Oh, and they actually sold, I saw an old flyer, they actually had uh, mounts where you could put 
like your shotguns right here or something that shotgun mount maybe it was sideways it would go across here your rifles they made a whole bunch of stuff for it uh, you but now oh so i didn't really talk about the straps so it is only sitting up there the it is there is no hard bolts onto here and i guess yeah i could just tap through there and do that but they put all these D-ring hooks, and so it is literally held with a ratchet strap, which I guess is good and bad. I mean, hell, you can get ratchet straps up to 3,000 pound tension, or the small ones. Uh, and But look how quick it would be to tear this thing down. I would just undo this, yank it off, and then you could put your kayak back up there or whatever the hell you wanted. And if need be, this bolt right here and then one on the other side and the whole upper unit and all the other top rails can come off so you can actually hit the trails and of course you still have this up here and uh, of course yeah now you got more you got you got four bolts to do that one off but it really it just takes a minute to get on i think that should, actually that was one of the ads one of the mentions in the ad was it just takes like three minutes to to take back off and only like 15 minutes to initial install it almost looks kind of cattywampus like this side is higher Oh, oh, you know what? That deck is higher. That deck is lower. So that bar has to be stretched out more. And then it becomes level. Anyway, so this is a, the Gear Gator rack system. It does fit the Yamaha Terra Pro. Now, now I know what you're wondering. Could you put it back here? And yeah, you sure could have. And that would have been just fine. It's got the center bar supporting the middle, so you're not going to have this extra bow thing. But I just have the dang winch right there, and it's it's welded on. So this for this model, this is for this unit, my unit. Uh, this is the only way I can mount that. Now the other one over there, I could do the further one, the stretch, and that should, that would be probably better for trail rides because then uh, the person that's riding behind you is not going to get that bolt in their butt. Okay, that's it. Signing off. I hope you guys have a fun time terraproing. Catch you later.